Why does the oil can have the word oil printed vertically from the top to the bottom? I mean, it's very convenient for the people watching the show, but it's not very practical. That thing zoo, a okay. I looked up the word zoo, which makes me feel stupid because even two-year-olds know what a zoo is, and it said that a zoo is a collection of animals, and I only see one here. Also, despite Ed referring to this as a petting zoo, the sign just says zoo. So if Ed bites a kid, whose fault is that? The chair is launched with the front facing Kevin's house, but it somehow lands in Kevin's window backwards. Is this even a window? There's no broken glass or anything. Did you see them? Who? God damn, Kevin, can you say the word who any louder? The Eds are right in front of you. I'm sure they can hear you. Ed has two eyebrows here. Let's test the petting zoo. But the scam was not down the lane. Boy, they made Sarah look even stupider than usual. Also, Sarah. We're hunting. Yeah. Jimmy's mouth doesn't move. We, the Eds, are smarter than onions? No, Ed. Eddie admits that he's not smarter than onions. That doesn't sound like the egotistical Eddie I know. What? We don't get to see Sarah get hurt after all the time she's been an unlikable bitch on this show. Come on, let us see her suffer. The Maki boys are 50 paces towards the sun, cooking beets. That makes sense because after all, they eat their weight in cheese. The mud on Ed's face is yellow, but Ed's face print is in purple mud. Now those are mucky feet! Yeah, but those are like fully grown mucky man feet. Not mucky boy feet. Where were these footprints earlier? I found a bone! That's what she said. Somebody had to say it. Look at the size of that thing! What animal could that possibly belong to? And what was an animal that big doing in the construction site? Is it the bone of a construction worker that died in a construction accident? Who was also a giant? What are the odds the only cave painting Sarah touches is the one that isn't a person? One in four. Not very good. This paint's still wet! Well, who's to say the mucky boys didn't just recently paint their cave? I mean, you're hunting for them, which means you believe they're currently alive. It's not like the mucky boys are prehistoric or anything. If anything, the wet paint should give you the assumption that the mucky boys are close by. Come on, Rolf, how much longer? It looks like Jimmy taught Kevin his ventriloquism skills. Why is Sarah smiling? Eddie, this mud is filthy. Is there such a thing as clean mud? Use your mind before you speak, Double D. Remember, you're the smart one. Rolf's teeth are white. Sarah! Oh, Sarah! Calling on Sarah for help would just make her a target for the mucky boys, too. Some friend you are, Jimmy. Trying to put your friend in danger. Jimmy hides behind this wheelbarrow, the Eds attack the wheelbarrow, and Jimmy is nowhere to be seen. Now at first, it looks like Jimmy clearly runs off. But look here! When Kevin and Rolf run away, they leave behind lines, whereas Jimmy just seems to vanish in thin air. Jimmy must have mutant powers or something. I hear Professor X has an opening! Hey! Not now, Sarah! We're playing! Did Sarah really need to reveal their identities before spraying them with the water hose? I mean, even if they really were the Mucky Boys, you could've still sprayed them because regardless of their identities, they are mucky, and therefore in need of a bath. You've got the biggest mouth! I don't think he does, Eddie. Look, here's a picture of Ed's mouth, and then here's a picture of your mouth. Which one's bigger? I'd say Eddie by a landslide. When Sarah sprays the Eds, Ed has still got the moose antlers on his head. So how do they end up in front of Ed? Shouldn't the impact of the water have blown them backwards? Well, Eddie, this all could have been avoided if we- If you what? Told Kevin that you were responsible for breaking his window? Kevin still probably would have beaten the shit out of you guys. If anything, this punishment seems a lot less painful. I guess the animators just forgot Naz was a character and decided to put her in at the last second. Poor Naz. There's a hammer in the cake. You're telling Eddie about the hammer, but you put the cake in front of Ed. That's smart. What did the Eds do to make Johnny want to help them get freed? Did they save Johnny's life in a deleted scene? Does Johnny just find Eddie attractive? I mean, baking a cake is hard work alone. And Johnny even went the extra mile to put two cherries on top. Yep, I'm thinking Johnny's got the hots for Eddie. 